When people tell me they don't know how to breathe, I get concerned because it means they're gonna die. What they really mean is they're uncoordinated when it comes to breathing when singing. And that's a far better problem to have than death. So a best way to coordinate your breath when singing is to ask for very specific durations of what you're singing. Often we allow air flow to run the show, so to speak, when actually it should be the music, the intention, that's running the air. Cart or the horse, which one comes first? Here's a simple exercise to help coordinate your air-breath relationship when singing. Short notes. Including the last note at the end of that scale. So we're gonna go short, 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 long, short. And those durations are very specific. What you don't want to hear is a clamping noise after each short note. Ga, ga, ga. You don't want to hear any noises of the throat because that indicates these neighboring muscles or the folds themselves are acting as a clamp or the brakes to the air. It means that your torso is not responding to the coordination needed to send up flow and stop. Send up flow, stop. It's like green light, red light, green light, red light. When we sing, the air flows. When we don't, it suspends, should suspend. So this is a great exercise to work on that coordination. Here we go. Simple as that. Make sure those short notes are truly short with no noises afterwards, and make sure the legato portion ga, has a short note at the end and is a consistent volume throughout. I'm Mark Baxter for voicelesson.com. Don't you see?